Okay, um, I'm gonna pause here in the video. But I'm gonna start the process of building this stop motion armature. These, these came out okay. Okay, they didn't come out beautifully. And the reason is, is because I had carefully set up my, zero, my zero point on my rotary table. And I was unwilling to unset it to put these in the vise over here and drill them on perfect center. So I marked them on center and tried to drill them on center. This is me being impatient and suffering the consequences. That's for real. <laughs> so, I'm gonna remake these all entirely from scratch because, 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 because. Um, but also, okay, I talked about having um, added uh, uh, machining in these two slots so I have much more close access. That was fantastic. There's one more thing I need, which is I need a pin, a registration pin in the middle. So what can that pin be? The problem is that this hole isn't a parallel hole, it's a Morse taper three hole. Luckily, I have a Morse taper arbor here um, for a uh, 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 keyless chuck, and I'm going to I am going to uh Yeah. Sorry, here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to machine this down. In order to machine this down because it does not have a parallel surface on it, uh it does have a po uh, a point in both ends. I'm going to turn this on centers, something I've never done on my lathe. Um and attempt to bring this down. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be tricky. Um, I don't wanna just machine this to a post. If I machine it to a post, even though it's perfectly on center, I have to deal with the thickness of that post, right? So like this is, this is less than an eighth of an inch. I don't wanna do an eighth of an inch post. That's gonna get bent. I would like to do like a quarter inch post. And then I realized I don't want a quarter inch post because I might wanna do something smaller like this. So what I really need is a quarter inch hole. How to drill a quarter inch hole on centers. Yeah, well, we'll get to that. We will get to that. Um, I have some ideas, but first and foremost, we're gonna mark this. And then we're gonna get it set up. I was filming all that, right? Hey, good. Impatience has a high cost. Believe me, I'm the least patient and I incur a high cost for that. Okay, so let's get you a view. Okay, so this is a lathe dog. Uh, right now, my, my, my spindle is turning between two pointed centers. Sorry, I didn't do that right. Give me a second. Okay. This is what we want to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have one more thing to do. Shoot. I'm going to turn on centers. The first thing I need to make sure is that this center is spinning perfectly true. That's what I'm about to do. These are the centers I'm turning between. I know that this one is true because I adjusted this one a few months ago. This one is a true set uh, chuck, which means I can adjust it by microns here and here. And uh, well, I'm going to. So let's just put a gauge on this and make sure it's true.
Uh huh. Yeah, we will get that better. So it's going between negative five and four. So that's four and a half. So that's one, two and a quarter. That's where I about want zero. Low, and that's the farthest away. I need a different center. I don't like this center, I think it has too many pits in it. Okay, now that's good. We're 2,000 out of round. So here we go. Half a thou. All right, seven tenths out of round. Let's we're gonna keep going. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. That is uh, two tenths out of round. That's five microns. That's acceptable. That's great. I could not be happier with that result. Two tenths. Okay, so here's where we're going with the uh, with the with the true set lathe. I have turned down a flat part here, uh, and that's how I'm hoping to drill my hole 
dead center on this Morse 3 taper. Here's how it will work. Um, well, so uh, one of the things about a true set chuck is once you've set it true, and I've set this like you just saw to five microns of, of run out, um, it is only set true to that diameter. That makes it repeatable for production work that you can keep on chucking stuff in here and be reasonably assured that it is on the same center. Um, if you chuck in a different diameter, you need to redo the true set. And uh, that's why I turned this down by I uh, to be close to this diameter. And then I measured it, reader, and it's like within a thousandth of an inch. Ah, this is half inch. This is like half inch plus one thou. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little impressed with myself. I don't mind saying. Um, so what I'm going to now do is I'm going to take this uh, Morse three taper with the flat spot. Now this is a perfectly parallel section. I'm going to grab that in the lathe jaws and try and drill on center. Now I can't perfectly. There's an issue with drilling on center. I don't just want to take a drill bit and plunge it in there because drill bits tend to wander. No, no, no. I'm going to take a quarter inch end mill, a really sharp one, a carbide one I have, and I'm going to go far down and then I'm going to take a drill bit and follow and the drill bit will be held in orientation by the hole and that will give me my nice clean center. All of this to give me a reliable pin center on my rotary table, and then I might start using it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna square up this bottom here. All right, uh, that didn't quite work. Uh, I can't grab this from the inside and have any. Okay, there's another way to do this, which is um, I can uh, I can cut this off here. I can cut this off a little bit above, drill it on center using the mill, and then flatten it out. Let's do that.
amazing. Thanks for watching that video. Your support allows us to make more of this great content. And if you'd like to help us further, help tested.merch.com? Uh, tested-store.com. Tested-store.com. Head over to our merch store, tested. What is it? Tested-store.com. Tested-store.com. Head over to our store at tested store. Doctor, I can't even read what I wrote. Tested. Dash. Dash. Hyphen <laughs> dash. N dash. There we go. <laughs> I had to start that again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tested-store.com. Tested-store.com.